The law says you're supposed to know about it, but most people don't. I just didn't realize that there's a repository somewhere of every baby born in the state. For decades, a state-run biobank has been collecting and storing DNA without consent. And as Julie Watts discovered, your DNA may be used for more than just research. A heel prick. Nearly every baby born in the U.S. gets one shortly after birth. Their newborn blood fills six spots on a special card used to test the baby for dozens of disorders that, if treated early enough, could prevent severe disabilities, even death. Genetic testing? We randomly selected six new moms to talk about their child's test. But like most parents, none knew what happened after the test. Were you aware that the state was storing your child's DNA? No. Do you think you should have been aware? Absolutely. You see, for the baby's own potentially life-saving test, researchers generally only need a few spots. The remaining blood becomes property of the state and may be sold to outside researchers without your knowledge or consent. I just didn't realize that there's a repository somewhere of every baby born in the state. Companies aren't very good at keeping data safe. They try. There just should be accountability and transparency. Blood is inherently or intrinsically personally identifiable. While parents don't have the right to opt out before storage, they can ask the agency to destroy the sample after the fact. These samples are needed to create the new testing technology. Fred Lorry, former director of the Genetic Disease Screening Program, says the samples are invaluable to researchers and primarily used to identify new diseases, ultimately saving more babies. He explains regulations require the program to be self-supporting. The biobank collects $20 to $40 per blood spot, which Lori says helps to recoup costs. But while the state may not profit off baby's DNA, what about the researchers? Do any of those studies result in something that the company could make money from? Theoretically, yes. I don't, I'm not aware of any cases where that's happened. Requests for blood spots go through a review board, and researchers are supposed to destroy remaining samples after they're done. So there's no chance that one of these labs can pull a Cambridge Analytica, keep remaining blood spots without the department's knowledge to be used for other purposes? I want to say no, but I'm not going to say no because I know how humans can be sometimes. But Lori stresses the blood spots are de-identified. No name, just a number. There is no such thing as de-identified DNA. Privacy advocates like consumer watchdogs Jamie Quartz say blood spots are inherently identifiable. He notes investigators recently ID'd the suspected Golden State killer using a public ancestry site and unidentified DNA. <laughs> And researchers aren't the only ones with access to blood spots. We discovered coroners request them to identify bodies. At least one father used them to prove paternity. And we found at least five search warrants and four court orders for identified blood spots, including one to test for drugs. Now, state law does require that parents are at least given this pamphlet. For most, it's the only disclosure about storage. I feel like that's something that should have been discussed with us in person, not in on whatever page in a document. Everyone who came into our room gave us like another pamphlet. I saw it as reference material. They don't tell you. You must read it. And when we asked these moms to search their documents, only one could find the required brochure, admitting in the midst of giving birth and raising a tiny human, she hadn't found the time to flip to page 13. And she's not alone. We commissioned a Survey USA news poll, which revealed, despite state law, three quarters of new parents say they didn't know the leftover blood spots would be stored indefinitely for research, and two thirds weren't sure they ever got the newborn screening information. And after reading the pamphlet, these moms say it's still not clear. Did it actually say outside research? Using them for, quote, department approved studies actually means giving them to outside researchers. I think that probably could be clarified. 84% of parents say they want the newborn screening information early in the pregnancy. Burdens on you, who's asleep with new mom, to like remember to call them and then follow up. Many also want the right to opt out of storage before the child is born and believe the state should at least confirm parents are informed before storing their baby's blood indefinitely. Now, this is just the beginning of the story. Head to KPIX.com for an extended version and information on how to find out if your DNA has been used for research. Julie Watts, KPIX 5.